Peter's dairy installation in 9697 Mr. Mitsubishi Pajero to remove the actual stereo itself. It is two screws at the top here, and there will be actually four screws, one in each corner, holding the stereos in behind the actual uh, front panel itself. First of all, just need to undo the two screws at the top. Just obviously be careful not to lose these screws because you may not have any spares to replace them. As you can see, because of the age of the vehicle, the top section is just falling away. Gently put your two fingers behind the panel and then the front panel itself comes off. You then got one, two, three and four screws. Undo all four screws. Again, being careful not to actually drop any of them. And that's now the stereo loose away. As it's an automatic, you need to put it into neutral. And remove the stereo itself. On this one, there's a DIN aerial plug on the right side part of the stereo. Then there's the actual factory plug. And then there's the actual connector to connect the CD player at the bottom, which will then you won't be able to use at all once you put aftermarket stereo. To put the new stereo in, you've got two screws on either side. Those will have to be actually removed. And as they have to be removed, the cage on the stereo won't be used, and therefore you'll actually have to screw these in to the actual factory aftermarket HNA itself.